Hey friends, Sportsman's Weekend at Somerset Beach Campground has become a tradition in my family. Traditions typically involve things that are near and dear to our heart, things that we care deeply about. For me, those things are family, God, and the outdoors. Um, most of the traditions that I hold dear to are the ones that involve spending time with my children and spending time serving my God. I encourage you to start your own family traditions that involve the same things. Spend time with your children, spend time with your family, um, invest time in your relationship with God. Once a year my family and I make a we make a trip down to the Irish Hills area of southeast Michigan to uh, Somerset Beach Campground. Uh, they host they host every September they host an outdoorsman's weekend. So the entire weekend is uh, um, open gun ranges and skeet shooting on Saturday. Uh, they've got a small private lake. Just an overall, just a just a fun outdoors weekend. My son loves it. He looks forward to it every year. Uh, normally, my dad comes with us. So, just a just a fun weekend. Fishing's fishing's not great on this little lake. Uh, it's mostly filled with uh, sublegal largemouth bass some small pan fish. Look at this boys. Can you believe that? Alright. I caught a perch. Yeah. Too small to eat though. Well, <laughs> I ate some this size Sunday. We're not going to keep them though. <coughs> but I never saw from the water. And now that I do, I realize that'd be awesome to go sweating. But if you want to go that. We used to go out to uh, Northwestern Highway. <laughs> we used to live out there off of Warren. Uh huh. We went to Toboggan in over there. That is so typical of this stupid lake. They, this lake produces the most pathetic little bass I've ever seen. There you go. But yeah, this grass is weird. It's just a tall, skinny stick. Yeah. And it's very swirly. But it's got no leaves on it, and it's just. Yet, I mean, I imagine the bass will use it if that's all they've got, but it's not very good cover, really. But there's still got to be some fish in this lake. It can't just be empty. Can it? <laughs> no, but you remember how finicky these bass are. <laughs> these little buggers are reluctant to bite anything. I don't know what's wrong with these fish. Oh, here we go. Here we got some weeds over here. Maybe. I mean, this should be a good spot right here where these two types of grass meet, though. Mm -hmm. Or the meatheads that climb on the back of cattle. 
Cattle. <laughs> like bulls. Or get on the back of a on the cover on the back of a pickup truck. Yeah. And then get slung off. Right. <laughs> Holy cow. How are you doing that? Just throwing over here in these weeds. They're loving this worm. Uh, little old Ned, Ned rigged case plastic worm. All right, make sure there's only ten holes in that target. Count your bullets is what I tell people in the summer. Ten bullets sitting next to you, then you know you won't use uh, 11 or more. I'm only scoring the worst ten bolt holes on the target. Yeah, are we good? Good? Your dad's not hiding behind a pallet out there? Okay. All right. told you guys but it's kind of cheating to start fishing before I can start with the troll motor in the water. <laughs> I told you that Ned, Ned rig was the ticket. I wish 
Pound snuff, you can bet they'll know all I know today. For I'm the reason why they are this way. Cause I put fishing in their souls. We got fishing in our souls. Yeah, we got fishing in our souls. Yeah, I put fishing in our souls. <laughs> Rock bass. All right, keep your fish. We're gonna catch one right now. Rock bass. Hey, uh, today I'd like to talk to you about a, a very special tradition in my family. My father and my oldest boy Noah, the three of us have come down to uh, Somerset Beach Campground in the Irish Hills of Michigan for the past six or seven years with the exception of last year. We had to miss last year while we were on vacation. But we've come down to the Sportsman's Weekend at Somerset Beach Campground now for quite a few years. It is just an incredible time. Fishing in our souls. 